We've talked about Flash before. He's the greatest gamer of all time. And no, it's not up for debate. The story we're telling today continues right after where the previous one left off. After making history by winning his fourth ASL title at ASL 8, Flash was defeated by Queen at ASL 9. The only thing that's really here is this one turret that's popping shots up. That's it, GG! Whoa! Queen defeats Flash! Crazy. At ASL 10, he planned to pick random for the entire event. On paper, picking random in a game with only three factions may not seem too difficult, especially compared to games like Smash or Street Fighter, which have huge, huge rosters. But the sheer complexity of Brood War, paired with it literally being the highest APM game in history, means that playing random is just unheard of. So in StarCraft, you know, it's such a, a deep game that takes so many years to become like a pro level player in. Uh, there's so many tiny nuances to every race in every single matchup on every single map in every single situation because like a StarCraft 1 games are more different from each other than I think really any other esport out there like every single game is really its own thing and like you'll see like kind of recurring patterns but like you really have to get down in the nitty gritty to be able to play situations correctly and if you take a player that's like let's say they're playing random well I mean at most they're playing one third as much as you in in any situation and it just it becomes insane because there's like nowadays with all the the pros streaming you'll actually see the very best pros coaching slightly lesser pros and even they the slightly lesser pros that are still in asl are learning like amazing complex secrets and nuances to the game uh from the higher level pros right so uh, there's just there's no way to really cover everything there's no way to know everything and there will be like these very small fringe situations that you're getting in trouble with a lot it's too much like starcraft itself playing one race is almost too much <laughs> but when you try to add in playing everything well you have to use the what random has given you <laughs> which is the surprise factor oh it's just so fantastic in short the cons of playing random heavily heavily outweigh the pros winning asl as random against the best players in the world forget about it flash was gonna come in maybe have a couple of clippable moments but he was gonna get smacked right you know obviously the the cheap cop out is he's the best ever uh but he really really is like if you were to you know give people like scores from like one to ten or one to a hundred on all the different things that make a good starcraft player he literally maxes out everything like no one even considers himself close to him. Like you can ask the second best player in the world. They're like, oh no, he's so much better than me. So there's certainly that, that he's just so good at everything. But I think that the main thing that really allows Flash or allowed Flash to utilize random to such a high level is unbelievably deep understanding of the game. Like he just, he sees the game very differently, I think, than everyone else. Before the, the random run, Flash was messing around with the other races a bit more. He actually, at one point, his Terran was number one on the ladder and his Protoss was number seven on the ladder. And in fact, his Protoss had the second highest win rate in the world. Uh, <laughs> so he was already kind of showing and he was like literally beating the very best players with Protoss already. You know, Zerg is kind of a different bag, so he wasn't doing quite as well with Zerg because uh, it's so different and Protoss is just kind of an easier race to play but uh, that was certainly kind of pointing towards you know his his overall strength the fact that he was able to like basically beat all the other pro gamers with another race on top of that. Before his official competitive debut as a random player at ASL 10, Flash partook in three best of three show matches against Best, Bisu, and Queen. After losing in game three to Best and Queen and beating Bisu 2-0, it seemed that fans' expectations were confirmed. While Flash was extremely well-versed with Terran and Protoss, his Zerg needed a lot of work. And if he was gonna pull off an ASL random win, he was gonna need a bit of luck. Eventually, the day when the final boss, the ultimate weapon, when God himself was going to pick random in the round of 16. For his first ever competitive match as random at ASL 10, Flash was going up against the Protoss player, Free. As the two loaded into the game, fans held their breath, waiting to see who Flash's first official random race would be. Ah! 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 
와. 테란 역시 우주에 땡기는 거지. 아 이럴 거 같더라. 이 yep. Flash's ASL random debut was on his main race, Terran. When Free scouts Flash's base and realizes what he's up against, you can see the confidence just flood out of him. I want to look at everyone. Look at Free's face. Right, Free is on the right here. Look at his face as he sees Terran. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You know, obviously there was that very powerful game he had against Free, where he went into Terran and just smashed him. Just, it was, if he had chosen Terran in that game, I would have been surprised, right? If he had prepped and chosen Terran and prepped that map for that matchup, I would have been surprised with how hard he smashed him. So that was like, oh, wow. And, you know, I, I remember feeling kind of bad for Free. It's like, well, what are you, what are you gonna do? He got, he got his main race and he just stomped you. Meeting Flash in the winner's set was another Protoss player, Snow. Flash rolled Protoss in Game 1 and showcased just how well prepared he was, using a hidden base to earn himself the win on Map 1. Oh my god. Whoa. After rolling Protoss again in the second match, Flash swept the set 2-0 and moved on to the round of 8. So that was impressive. The, the Protoss vs Protoss game that was on Eclipse I feel like that showed a lot of the way he was thinking about it, the way he kind of snuck the expansion to the side. He he realizes, for instance, you're you're not sending out extra probes for scouting in this matchup in the general meta game. Uh, you can't spend an observer on the side there because it's so tight, you know. And he just kind of like really played those mind games to get that advantage. With that, when I saw that, I was like, oh wow, this is really going to show people the kind of the thought process that's going into a lot of his plays. While Flash avoided playing Zerg in the first two rounds of the tournament, his luck was bound to run out. In the round of eight against Terran player Rush, the worst case scenario finally showed itself. For his opponent, that is. In this set, Flash played each race once and swept the series with a dominant 3-0. All right. Sorry, everybody. Well, I hate being right. Uh, starts uh, out 1-0. Yeah, this <laughs> should be a win. The, uh kind of reactions I remember the most were when Rush was getting destroyed and like everything was falling apart and Rush has a very good frustrated I'm destroyed face that he puts on <laughs> and uh yeah I I like Rush quite a bit so um that was that was kind of fun to see his reaction when every single thing he did got like hard countered and he was playing against the wrong race and the wrong build every single time and he might have a very good shot coming up here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, how many was that? And the fact that he just smashed Rush like that, it was like, well, at that point, I'm like, maybe, <laughs> you know, we're already in the round of four. Like anything can happen at this point. I, at that point, I was really feeling, because when you hit the round of four, these are like the gods of Brood War that could win the ASL at any time, even over Flash. He doesn't win every single tournament. So I did feel after the round of eight that it's like, okay, from here, he needs to get the right races and the right spawns on the right maps, and then he can do it. But he can't. He can't do it like he did to Rush. Like nothing else will look like that again. In the round of four, Flash played the Zerg player Soma. This was going to be his most difficult challenge yet. In order to win and move on to the finals, Flash had to win a best of seven series. Luck would have to be on his side. Okay, so that is Soma. Oh, he got Flash Zerg. is Zerg CBC. Whoa, <laughs> 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 아, 이건 진짜 연습을 많이 한 거야, 영우가. At the end of the day, this series was incredibly competitive. Gonna kill a decent amount of drones, but honestly, there's so many drones here. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that placement. The greatest drop placement the world has ever seen. Flash went up 2-1 early in the set, with wins on his Zerg and Terran. However, the rest of the series didn't go his way, and he lost a game on each race, falling to Soma 2-4. GG, Soma has done it! And he's in the finals, defeating the greatest gamer of all time, Flash. Although his push for a fifth ASL title came to an end, 
he still had one more match to play against the Zerg player Larva in the third place decider match. Flash is trying to scout basically as late as... Okay, watch his face, watch his face, he's about to see it. Yeah. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> in this series, he won with a convincing 3-0, with two wins on Terran. But the highlight came in map 2, where Flash displayed just how prepared he was. He rolled Zerg and performed a sunken colony rush almost to perfection. He did a strategy no one has seen, and I remember watching a translated clip of Queen, who's uh, been the best Zerg player in the world for a very long time, and he got, uh, you know, he's a two time ASL champion, right? So he's kind of like the king of Zerg, despite being named Queen. But uh, he he was like, when Flash did this one very particular move, Queen was like, how does he know that? How does he know that, right? Because it's like one of these things that maybe only the top few Zergs in the world know, and in fact are saving for their own Zerg versus Zerg on that match. But Flash just figures it out, right? Like he just, he the way that he thinks about the game is on such a different level that he sees these little things that, uh, you know, a more standard pro gamer just absolutely is not going to find. The victory over Larva would be Flash's final competitive match before fulfilling mandatory military service. While he has since completed his service, Flash has made no commitments to compete in another ASL tournament as of yet. Yeah, I, I don't think Flash is going to or can come back and win ASL with Random. Obviously, going to the military generally interrupts people and it takes them normally a while to get back into shape. I remember like Queen came back and he was looking really good, but it did take him like an additional year of playing to, to win a championship again. You know, the thing is, Flash was like really super peak when he went random like like that was truly the, the peak of his career probably over the you know the three osl three msl victories back in kespa like he had won something like four asls and was destroying everyone all the time uh so i think that that was like a very special moment if flash chose to continually play random there's always the the chance that he hits the right races in the right spawns on the right maps and like you can win and you can definitely string something like that together and you know he might out mind game people and stuff as well but with someone seriously playing random and everyone watching it people start to figure out better not only how to play random but how to play against random which is something we didn't really have before Despite finishing third, Flash's run at ASL 10 will likely go down as one of the greatest performances in esports history. He came prepared, managed to win even on his weakest race, and showed just how high the skill ceiling is for Brood War. Ultimately, it's clear that this run will never be matched by another player, so even if it's the only time Flash competes with Random, it'll be a run that will be remembered for a long, long time, and another badge of honor on Flash's already undisputed status as the GOAT. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to B, Cloud, Shampoo, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters, and an extra special shout out to Steph and Jack for being our Diamond supporters. We hope you're enjoying the content. If you want to talk to us, check out our Discord. If you want to support our channel and get info on unreleased videos, check out our Patreon. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, Thanks for watching.